This is Brother Teacher. This is not one of those easy subjects for me to speak on. However, I feel I feel compelled to say something. First of all, I want to say that every human being that lives upon the face of this earth I love humanity that's me I have no aughts I have no animosity and I don't hate anyone or any group of people I just don't irrespective of race, color, creed, ethnicity, culture, no. However, I can disagree. I can express that. I can articulate that. It's well within my right as a man to do that. And that is what I'm doing right now. Even though it's probably been known for some period of time, I'm just now catching wind of this particular subject that seems to be gaining a little momentum in the media. Yes, uh, this story was new to me until about a day ago. And it has to do with NBA uh, ball player Dwayne Wade, who's married to celebrity actress Gabrielle Union. And their son, and I'm going to say son, who's 12 years old. And his birth name is Zion. And he made a decision that he wanted to be a girl transgender and he wanted to be referred to as Zaya now now based on what I just said to you I want to at the end of this video all of you all that have had an experience like this with your child or your children any of your children or maybe even if you are one of those people that has gone through this same and or similar situation where you made a decision or your child has made a decision that they felt or believed that they uh, wanted to identify as a sex that they were not born as. So when I watched, I did a little research, Dwayne Wade in an interview with Ellen DeGeneres, I saw where he said that he was there and his wife was there to support his child and his decision, I'm going to say his because it actually is a boy that wants to be a girl. Um, he said he wants to support her. He's referring to his child, his male child as a her. Uh, going by the child's wishes. I have no heaven, nor do I have an, uh, a hell to put any man in. I am not making any judgment against uh, the Wade family and especially not against his child. But I can't tell you what I believe and what my stance is. And it's interesting. 
I'm going to say this first. As I've already pointed out. I love all people. It could be my child. I have had members of my family that were gay. I did not love them any less. But I don't agree with an individual that is born one sex wanting to change their sex from the simple scientific biological physiology side and or standpoint that if you are born if nature created you a female that's what you are and if nature created you you can use God if you want to or Yahweh or Allah created you a male or masculine I should say feminine and masculine then that's what you are to try to change nature is to go against nature now this may sound like a riddle it's not intended to but nature cannot change its nature say it again nature cannot change its nature because it is what it is and it was designed to be what it is and cannot be changed now I've heard people say it's an old cliche or, or expression to each his own I don't buy that I believe that we have to be very very careful when we begin to enter in and intrude in someone else's space and try to change their belief system they can be religious it could be their physical body it can be whatever we have to be very careful because it's not for us to do that but with that said it doesn't mean that our viewpoint is skewed it doesn't mean that our viewpoint is incorrect or not true it just simply means that we can have our views based on what we believe in our own perspective now while I'm saying that I want to say this I said perspective to some people to use that expression is to say well that's my opinion so we're all entitled to our opinions but what I want to say in addition to that is that there is the truth and the truth cannot be refuted the actual truth cannot be changed it is very much a matter of if people want to accept the truth for what it is or if they want to insert their own belief system over that or their own so-called perception over that you can't have opinions when it comes to the truth the truth is just simply what it is that's what I'm getting at so I believe that it is really sad that Dwayne Wade and his wife are supporting a 12 year old's decision to want to be the opposite sex because I believe at 12 year old 12 years old you are still very much a child and you cannot possibly be able to make a decision that grave at that age you just can't that child has not lived long enough and experienced life enough to be able to make a decision like that that could change 
his life just like that hasn't lived long enough so I believe that there is something else underlying that we in the general population just simply don't know about as it relates to that situation to include his family's decision to support him now I know they are wealthy they have money, they have stardom, they have fame. There's something else behind this. I would never, ever support my son or daughter's decision to want to change their sex. Not me. You're entitled to believe what you want to believe and accept what you want to accept. But I'm saying it based on what I said earlier. You're born a, a female or feminine, and you're born a male or masculine. That's what you are. And to try to change something that nature has not changed is against nature. And that's the premise I'm standing on. Simply that. Now, I didn't say that I would love my daughter or son less because I wouldn't love them less if they went on and pursued that lifestyle or choice. I would still love my children the same. I would just be in disagreement. So to all of you out there that are part of the LGBT community, LGBTQ community, I am not attacking you. Just want you to know that. I love you. This is contra not contradictory to what I began to say earlier. I'm talking about changing your sex. That's the premise of this whole video. I'm in disagreement. And I'm in greater disagreement because it's a 12 year old child that's trying to make or has made a decision that they want to be the opposite sex. And I disagree with the choice of his parents, Gabrielle and Dwayne Wade, about supporting the child as opposed to educating the child on the difference and on nature. It's not the easy thing to talk about. It's not the easiest thing to talk about because we have... Uh, it seems in years past, not so long ago, that this has been a common conversation in mainstream media about LGBT community and rights and so forth. It's just hard for me as a man and hard for me as a father to imagine my child telling me that they want to be something that they were not born and that was it and if you watch my earlier videos you know uh, how I feel about everyone I have no animosity no hatred as I said before and as I pointed out earlier in this video I do have members of my family that are gay and many of us do and I love them just the same I just disagree with certain things that was my take and uh, if you have something that you would want to share as I pointed out earlier please by all means weigh in keep your language clean be appropriate in how you approach your answer no hate speech if you watched me speaking right now you didn't see any vitriol you didn't see me pointing out any specific people and attacking anyone I didn't do that so if anyone out there feels like you have to do that to me or come to this channel and do that you're just caught up in your feelings for no good reason at all. I approached you with respect and dignity and I would appreciate the same in kind. 
please leave, please leave your comments in the comment section below by all means please uh, share your experiences if you care to do so I'm not compelling you to do that and uh, please like and share this video with someone that you would think would be interested in hearing my take on this particular subject Dwayne Wade Gabrielle Union's decision to support their 12 year old son Zion who now decides to be a female personality and renamed Zaya. My prayers are with you all. So long.